Welcome to the next episode of The Dark Web Deacon. For those who don't know, Anonymous is a decentralized group of unknown international hacktivists. While the group has no specific goals, there's an overarching desire to combat internet censorship, promote freedom of speech in the press, and provide informational clarity when governments become authoritarian and abuse human rights. Detractors will say Anonymous are just cyber criminals who attack web servers and leak private information online. Well, the world is not black and white. So here are the top five times Anonymous has preserved freedom, humanity, and innocence around the world. Number five. Exposing the involvement of the Chinese military in a string of US cyber attacks. One of the good deeds of Anonymous is that it helped expose the involvement of the Chinese military in a string of attacks on American companies, organizations, and government agencies in 2011. China vehemently denied these allegations due to lack of proof. But still, American security researchers and government officials claim that China was indeed behind the string of cyber attacks, but there was no clear evidence that back up that claim. Anonymous, however, intervened and provided incriminating and substantial evidence linking the Chinese government and military to the attack. The disclosure made headlines all over the world and allowed the U.S. government to place responsibility for the malicious acts on China. The Chinese government was greatly humiliated and the attack stopped for a period of time. Number four. Attacking Zimbabwe over its suppression of the press. When WikiLeaks published an allegation in one of its online releases implicating the first lady of Zimbabwe in illicit diamond trades, a Zimbabwean newspaper picked up the report and published it. This move prompted First Lady Grace Mugabe to file a lawsuit against the newspaper. In response to this legal action, Anonymous stepped in to defend freedom of expression and the press. The group carried out successful cyber attacks on Zimbabwean government websites as a form of retaliation. Among the targets was the finance minister's website, along with the official site of the Zimbabwean government itself. The hacking group justified these attacks as a response to the audacity of Zimbabweans government in censoring the free press. Number three. Anonymous vs. Los Zatas. Los Zatas is a Mexican criminal syndicate notorious for its sophisticated operations and violent activities. They found themselves in the spotlight in October of 2011 when Anonymous released a video alleging that the group had abducted one of its members. Anonymous threatened to unveil all collaborators of the gang in Mexico unless the hostage was safely released. This bold move demonstrated to the world the extent of fear criminal organizations like Los Zatas harbored towards Anonymous. In swift response to the threat, Anonymous launched an attack on the website of Gustavo Rosario Torres, a former Tabasco state prosecutor. His website was defaced with insinuation that he had ties to the criminal syndicate. Anonymous then declared their intention to expose numerous associates of Los Zatas in November of 2011. However, Los Zatas members caught wind of the threat and promptly released the hostage before the November deadline. Reports did circulate that Los Zatas had engaged their own security experts to track down Anonymous members. Whether because of this or because their objective of getting the hostage released was met, no further Los Zatas associates were exposed. Number two. Protecting children from the Blue Whale Challenge. Self-harm games, while many consider to be nothing more than an internet hoax, are very real. The various names of these games, or the names of the instigators of these games, take various forms, including the Blue Whale Challenge, the Momo Challenge, Jonathan Galindo, Inner Six, or Six Inner. It's an online game in which participants are purportedly directly contacted by someone who entices them and then orders various acts of self-harm to be committed over the course of 50 days. On the final day, participants are urged to win the game by taking their own life. In 2013, an early version of the game is rumored to have launched on the Russian social network VK. The challenge begins to infiltrate the US in the summer of 2017. It took news outlets around the world a few years, but by 2017, Russia, Asia, South America, and US news outlets were reporting on the problem. The Blue Whale Challenge then morphed to the Momel Challenge and began to try to connect to kids via YouTube Kids 
WhatsApp, and Fortnite, encouraging kids to hurt themselves or perform dangerous acts like sticking a fork in an electrical outlet. The next incarnation of the Momo Challenge emerged in 2020 on social media sites such as Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok targeting young people. So who declared war against these online psychos who want to hurt your kids? A celebrity? A politician? A superstar athlete? Actually, no. It was Anonymous. Anonymous launched what they called Operation Blue Whale in order to stop this game. They claimed to have taken down over 10,000 accounts that were suspected of endorsing the game and docked several Blue Whale operators. They also vigorously hunted down anyone who tried to continue to curate the game. Eventually, the game pretty much vanished from online existence. So thank Anonymous for their actions and taking the lead in protecting your kids online. Number one, attacks on North Korea. North Korea is a nation with a primary objective, which seems to be to amass as many weapons of mass destruction at the expense of its own population's health and well-being. When the day comes that the regime falls and the true horror of what evils and crimes have been perpetrated on its population for decades, the mainstream media and governments will ask, how did this happen? Why did no one try to stop this? Well, Anonymous is doing what they can to try to disrupt North Korean military operations. Anonymous has cited North Korea's authoritarian regime and internet censorship as justifications for their actions over the years. Operating in almost total seclusion, North Korea lacks significant economic or non-military ambitions. Instead, the North Korean regime channels all of its capital into missile tests and questionable satellite technology. When Anonymous acted, leveraging its cyber hacking capabilities against the country, the global response was one of unanimous support. One cyber attack was spurred by North Korea's satellite launch in February of 2016. Within hours of the launch, Anonymous successfully shut down three North Korean websites, followed by numerous other sites in subsequent days. The objective of these cyber assaults was to disrupt communications with the satellite, aiming to undermine the authoritarian leadership of North Korea to dissuade further satellite launches. Anonymous has engaged in multiple confrontations with North Korea over the last decade or so. The hacking collective continues to target and disable North Korean websites whenever it wants. Dark Web Deacon, out. Check out the Dark Web Deacon merch store. We have high quality t-shirts, accessories, and signature hoodies, of course. And become a true Dark Web enthusiast and VIP.